Hello there guys, it is Dr. and Chewy here and today we're back with another tutorial and this week's tutorial is a commenter's suggestion of what come and asked for he said that he needed a full house stable for his village slash town, I can't remember what he said now it's really bad but anyway for a project he was working on and needed to hold four horses and I got to work and that's what we're going to be building today so this stable is going to be able to hold four horses possibly more if you want to be really horrible to them without further ado let's look at my bar across the bottom I literally just forgot what it's called tool bar I don't know but we've got the oak wood logs some cobblestone all kind of the spruce the stairs the slabs and the planks I'm using birch wood stairs for the roof to get that farm like feel but if you're using a texture pack where the birch was kind of white creamy I'd suggest using awkward planks and talking about them, the awkward stairs I mean, we're actually using the awkward planks, fences and the bushes for the final little decoration. So without further ado, let's crack on. So I'm going to build this, keep it quiet please, die, right. I'm going to try and build this layer by layer, so you're going to have your logs like this too, make sure you leave a two wide gap. Okay, creepy sounds. Then I go in this shape. Logs, two space gap. Make sure you make that two two space gap. That's where I messed up and had to start recording again. Right here, this is where I put a one space gap. I was like, "Who? Huh? Why is this all lining up?" And then I realised, and instantly restarted the recording. So hopefully this lines up nicely. It does. So there's our shape for our stable. You're gonna be able to enter from all sides. Which I think is pretty cool. So let's take our logs up like this. For using cobblestone, kind of get away from the stone bricks a bit. Most of my builds have stone bricks in. This is going to be stone brickless. So build all these up for high, like that. Make sure you don't do any of that. You could do that actually to give it a bit more texture. Put a button on it. Could look pretty sweet. And maybe we'll try it. And you may be asking, why is my render distance so short? Because my computer is having a bad day and it's deciding to lag like crazy and give me 10 frames, whereas if I go down from normal to short, I'm getting 40 frames. So it's much nicer for you to watch and it won't affect you too much. So this is quite a small stable, you know, and it will have a roof on. And I think we'll work on the roof now. Or should we work on the windows? Yes, let's work on the windows. Having a little conversation with myself. So this is what our windows are going to be like. We're going to use the spruce wood. Just like this. All the way around. Could have just flown up there, but decided to be awkward about the situation. And... Try and hit the tiniest bit of hitbox there was. So again, you can use any kind of wood. Move, please. You're going to be trouble, you aren't you? Yeah, you can use any kind of wood, any kind of log, any kind of edge. You could even use wool here. You know, totally up to you what you do in my builds. You can vary them however you wish. Okay, let's build up these walls. We're just going to have basic oak logs, oak, oak wood planks. Get my words out there. And yeah, it's been a couple of weeks now since I recorded a video. Um, because last week I was really busy, so I just recorded that really short video, which I'm sorry about, but I was so busy that I really didn't have time. Um, don't look much now, once we start adding the bushes around the sides, starting bits of details, it'll be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully your location's a tiny bit better than mine, I kind of misjudged the size of it, thought it was a bit smaller, but it will do. Okay, so we've kind of got our base down now. This is what the base is going to look like. Oh, just picked up really weird speed there. So let's work on the roof now. I, as I said, I'm going to use the birch slabs, the birch stairs, and talking of slabs, and indeed birch slabs, we need. We do need the birch slabs, so we'll swap our, what do you call it, 
Oh my god, I did not just forget what that was called. Oak planks, yes. Winner. Um, yeah, we'll swap out our oak planks. We're going to have a two wide roof like this. Really awkward to place this roof, but it's going to be like this. And we'll add some more. Again, more detail to that roof very soon. We're going to copy this all the way around. Come here, you bugger. And of course, that breaks. I don't know what I'm doing. Help me. There we go. This roof is probably the most tedious roof to build in the universe. Um, just, I hate working with half slabs, but recently I've been working with half slabs a, a bit more to um, kind of refresh my building. Um, I said in one video, you know, I'm kind of running out of ideas for um, rustic builds, but I've started to use like half slabs instead. and. It's just a small change, you know. It's not a big change. But, I don't know, it's just kind of revitalised me as a builder. And it's just giving me more ideas. But anyway, we're going to wrap our roof around like this. Just along the side. So just follow all the way around. Like that. I'm going to do that on all sides again. Um, as always. Yeah, um... Feel free to skip the video if you've already skip the video on, should I say, if you've already done this because I don't know, building roofs are so boring. But you know, they keep out of the build, you know. What what would a house be without a roof? It would merely be a desolate building. Don't think that was the right word. But while we do the boring roof I will talk to you guys a bit. About a few things. Anyway, we've got our path that very roof, so I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Well, let's use the second one is the um, spruce slabs. Again, use any type of wood. And basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to wrap it round again. Wrap it round like a snake, like that. Like this. And you're just going to keep doing that until you eventually make it to the top. So. I just had to walk my grandma's dog because they've been on holiday. So I decided, alright, I'll take it, you know, up round near my house. So I'll take it around near my house. And then it keeps running in people's gardens. And I'm like, come on, what are you doing? Just stop messing me about here, you know. You've had your fun, you've had your laugh. Now just stop messing me about. And so I decided to lock the, um, the lead. And then kind of started behaving, so I was like, alright, so, yeah, you stop now, so I'll unlock it. As soon as I unlock it, DAS for the garden. Uh, so, I, I just quickly hurried through that little estate. Yeah, because, Jesus Christ, I rarely ever walk my grandma's dog, and it's really cool, but it just is not aware of people's property. It's just, come on. <laughs> anyway, we're getting on with this build, and if I do say so myself, it's coming on well. All you want to do basically with this roof is you just want to wrap it round like this. Just wrap it round, you know. Don't miss the corners, just keep placing it like this. So don't just go like that. Make sure you place this block here. Um, I guess you could do it the other way if you wanted to, but that's how I'm going to do it. And it's just going to be a lot more of a gradual slope instead of kind of high peaks like on the corner bits here and I'm going to use the oakwood slab oak um, full blocks for this bit because it's easier basically you can use the half slabs because if you're in survival you know half slabs half the resources used sounds like a pretty good deal to me so now we're just going to peak our roof off like this and we're peaked and you can even put a little top on like that which I'm going to do in fact no I'm not I don't really I don't really like it like that you can do that if you want as always feel free to customise my build in any way you want and now that build's coming together you know like the inside isn't done um, I'm going to quickly just model how I did the inside on a creative world so I have a path coming in like this 
from all angles. So it kind of meets up in the middle here. Just ignore that massive chasm. Well, in fact, it's just a little hole. But <laughs> we shall call it the massive chasm. Chasm to my right. Just ignore that. I had to fill it up just before I started recording. I think we're going the way with the build. So this is how I did the inside. Really simple. And then oak logs here. Going up to the roof, acting like supports. Like so. Obviously I didn't just use cobblestone, I kind of used dirt and other materials. And then I just had the fences coming along like this. And then you put your horses in these bits here. Again, I'd put kind of dirt, soul sand, stone. I used a lot of materials when I interior designed this on my own. Little creative world. So that's how I'd do the interior. You know, maybe I had a light somewhere. I don't know. So to you you're doing the interior, I'd do this. But a bit more detailing on the floor. Maybe put some torches on these pillars, actually. It's probably the best solution. Let's add a bit of detail to the roof like that. Curve it out a bit with some half slabs. Like so. And sorry if I'm going a bit quick, but... I kind of really want to fit this into one video because if I split it into two parts, it'll, um, what do you call it? It'll, the second part would just be like five minutes long, so it's a bit pointless. But let's now add some bushes around the place. So I'm just going to place some glowstone down, you know, where I want the bushes to be. You know, maybe something like this. And then what I did on my world was where there's not bushes just put a support pole here you know kind of give the building a bit more support so on this side we'll have two support pillars like this a uh, bit of glowstone here like maybe a bit like that uh, that on that side that is such a sh I mean a bad place uh, to put what you call it? A uh, stable entrance because it's just so a bit botched, really. It's a bit like this. Break this here and just put a stick up, or support pillar, should I say, and we'll just do a bit of that. Cover it up a bit. And the final bush side. And we're just going to place bushes like this. This is just totally random bush placing. Just try and slope it down a bit is all I can really say. And we're going to put a support pillar there. And are we done? Well, I personally put some fences here and here. And I'd also put a little torch on top. So let's quickly do that. On this side like this. And definitely in here you're going to need some lighting. So maybe just something a bit like this. I don't really know, I'm not very good with interior designs. But I think this interior design speaks for itself, you know. It's a horse stable. That's a great time to do, bro. And basically, this is your horse stable. Very. I didn't want to go too all out with the detailing because it's a survival. I, I like to do this kind of survival builds for you guys. But I think when you walk inside, you know, you can imagine you know, having a fence gate here. Getting your horse, you can fit through these gaps really easily. And because it's too wide as well, symmet symmetrical, two fence gates here. You can fit out, you can fit in, you can even jump him over if you wanted to, and have a great time murdering creepers whilst riding your faithful steed. So, this has been this tutorial. Can't help but think I've forgotten something really important this video. But, who knows? So this is the little horse stable you requested, sir. Hope you hope you liked it, and I hope you use it on your world. Um, as always, remember to click that like button below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, keep leaving awesome, awesome suggestions in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Hope to see you guys next week, where I think we're going to be building an enchantment station slash little hut thing. 
So get prepared for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.